What's up again, folks? We're back for some more master riffing. And indeed, we're moving on to the second episode where Max and the master go up to San Francisco. Again, the show, they sort of go around to different cities and you would think they'd make it sort of geographically, you know, sort of coordinated so they're kind of like moving in one direction or they're sort of going to a city that's not too far away from the city they went before, but not really. Um, we go from Illinois all the way out to San Francisco. Uh, the third episode, I'm trying to remember, it, it doesn't really say specifically. I think it's like the Southwest and then eventually we go back to Los Angeles. So um, yeah, they jump all over the place. But this episode is in the Bay Area and it features a local protection racket run by a gang in Chinatown. And ultimately the master and Max find their way into the lives of people being oppressed by this protection racket. And well, the rest will play out before your eyes. So yeah, let's get it. And again, this is just for my purposes, but three, two, one, go. Who are those guys? Man hired you. Just in I case you wanted a synopsis of the episode before we watch the episode. Look, this was a partnership. I told you when you're ready. Whoa, that is way too much face on the screen. Silhouettes seem like they're shooting a walkthrough. In case you missed the last episode. Hi, I'm Max Keller. What's this up, This is my how guy? I'm spending my mornings now. I don't do high wire acts, rolling barrels, or put on big red putty noses. Not unless you can, however, call me Bozo. In Barnum and Bailey's. Concentrate. He always listens to me. What's that? A silken cord. I've had enough for one lesson. I figure the chances of having a tightrope in San Francisco are slim. What do you think Come the on, last time Max up. took a shower was? We're gonna have fun! And find your daughter at the same time. Maybe this time, Terry. So wait, his daughter was an aviator slash dancer? Okay. standing next to your daughter in the newspaper photograph. The old man runs this place. I'll try and catch her after this dance. We don't want to integrate you too fast into modern day society. All right, you go talk to the pretty girl. I'll talk to her Do father. people normally talk to what each other pal. while standing facing Anytime. the same direction, less than a foot apart? The cameraman behind a guy with a big head? Alright, we've seen that shot like three times now. Alright, 
She's a decent dancer, but surely they're clapping for something else that we can't see. She's something, isn't she? A yeah, your sideburns are too. Join. And she moves great. <laughs> you betcha. Oh, oh Wesley, uh, where's Jill? She's watching old movies, Mr. Patterson. Mr. Patterson? I'll be right with you. No one's allowed backstage. Have a seat. Look, pal, I got Just enjoy this show. Don't mind me, I'll just be focusing on the saxophone for the time being. Just a minute, young lady. Perhaps you can help. Ah, can you back up from people's faces? We've come to see Mr. Patterson. In the office. <laughs> yes, Over before there. you ask, it is Thank the guy so from Revenge of the Nerds. What, him you leering like at you like afraid. that? Yeah, stop leering. What are you doing, Jill? I'm watching you and Mother dance the waltz from Lady Be Good. Lady Be I. Look at that lift. Look at the way you moved. You were so graceful. I'll just bet you had Mr. Astaire shaking in his dancing pumps. I don't think he was shaking too hard. I think it's kind of sicko for the leader of a wheelchair brigade to get such a charge out of watching other people dance. Well, if you I don't put mean it that the way, way my yeah. sister dances. That's not dancing. That's aerobics. Now, what you did was dancing. I bet you could still do it, too, if you really wanted to. So could you. You're right, Dad. Put some hot towels on my legs at half-hourly intervals. A couple of FDR canes. Half-hourly is a good a modifier. Steps. A cane didn't hurt Mr. Astaire's career. <laughs> Don't you just hate dealing with it? An ex-hoofer with two daughters. One wheels, the other cartwheels. One is shy and retiring, and uh, one has a smart mouth. My sister shy and retiring? The decade's answer to Isidore Duncan? <laughs> Wait, I don't know what that means. That's angry, Jill. I wonder what she calls me. Gimp? Isn't that what you call yourself? Hey, now, wait a minute. I took two steps yesterday. I know. Oh, this is my favorite part. This is your audition for the Dancing Pirate. This, this is a blast. So he was alive in the 19th century? Mr. Patterson, how good to meet you in person. After Given that you're 135 I'm years old. I'm Jonathan Chan, and this is Mr. Lika. That Lika is one bad mother. Shut uh, my would mouth. Would you excuse us, young lady? Your father and I have some important business to discuss. Yeah, and lambda, lambda, eye. lambda. Jill, go on. Watch your feet, gentlemen. I'm lethal with these things. Do you mind? So, let's talk business. Okay. There's a little trouble. Oh, wait, front. what? I thought we were going to talk While business. Well, Tilla the Hun was distracted. So my chance to get backstage. This was going to be easy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So much money. Okay, give me the number where you are. No way. Okay. Oh, that's not quite Hey. Is the club playing a cassette tape of crowd noise? And uh, you really shouldn't be back here. Our bouncer has a small personality problem. Who, Attila the Hun? We're pals. Kelly Patterson? I'm Max Keller. Looking for a girl. If the stars were in the right places, it'd be you. Damn you, Alpha Centauri. Uh, no dancer here named Harry. 
Look, uh, we're on a break now, and I've got to go meet someone. Sorry. Yeah, but I... Um... Sorry. Your reputation for body odor precedes you. Sorry. So, it wasn't as easy as I thought. Kelly did mention a small personality problem of yours. I think that's more a gravity problem. See how you like this, pal. Here's a little warning. More practice. So, seven years back. Another bad luck. mystifying fight scene, but I'm with you, Cheryl. Meanwhile, the master was getting us into even more trouble. Yeah, he was smoking in the non-smoking section of an 80s restaurant. Expansion is inevitable, Mr. Patterson. Like the roots of a great oak. We take hold where we can. The only protection I need is from people like you. Now get Most up. notably, people in tricycle races singing the song Daisy Bell. I cannot move. That's an unusual insignia on your ring. An ancient household going back for centuries. Yes, I know. We've been hey, told to leave. my jewelry is tougher than your jewelry, bro. I may leave when he lets me go. Oof, you can cut the sexual tension with a knife. The old man hired you. I am not for hire. We are all for hire. In dark times. The dark times are gone. Uh, they're talking about the video Thank game crash of 83. It's always with us. Master. Here's her last address. Oh. oh, he's so adorable. I don't know how he does it. One glimpse of those blue eyes and every girl falls for him. Gotta learn his technique. So when's what, the last of time you saw being a Terry? hamster? About a week ago. Look, I hope your friend isn't expecting to find Daddy's little girl. She's really messed up. Drugs. Oh, whew. I thought they were gonna say she started watching Michael so, Bay movies. How'd you get past good old Attila? He carries some cute little tricks around with him. That guy throws He's his like voice this. remarkably well. He's just leaving. It's daylight already. I didn't realize we were in there so long. The hell was that all about? So did he put Henry in an invisible fanny pack? You only throw a shuriken against another human being in self-defense. You ever again take another weapon out of my case? You be prepared to use it against your enemy. Even if it's me. I'd rather not. Not yet, anyway. Guess you don't respect what you don't understand. Like Canasta. Kelly's address and phone number. I managed to get that much before you hauled me out of there. The other address is your daughter's. Kelly knows her. She knows a girl named Terry who used to be a dancer and a pilot. So we're really going Doesn't with that backstory for the daughter. daughter, okay? Let's find out. But I'll do the driving. You throw the Tsubishi and shurikens. Makes me feel like I can do something right. They're leaving now. Now comes the fun part. Riding with a ninja. I like surprises. I feel like Lee is really getting pissed off at him right now. Remember, boys? Think of me as Paul Newman. Steve McQueen. Oh, right. guy. 
spy. Assassin. Is that by Okasa? No, a man like Okasa. A ninja. Do you just naturally run into these fellow ninjas everywhere you go? I mean, can't you just shake hands? Do you have to show you can out kill each other? You well, must it is sort of the, the premise of the show, Max. What's his problem? <laughs> Tell me later. So he missed because how? Pull over when you can. Pull over? I guess when you gotta go, you gotta go. I didn't know what he was gonna do, but I don't think I wanted to know. His request for toilet paper confirmed by suspicion. It's like Bill Conti and Les Hooper were arguing over what the score should be here. Where did he go? Which way did he go? So, like, they could just turn around and shoot him anytime. Thank you, Vangelis, for that little soundtrack sting. I mean, literally, you'd have to be blind not to see him at this point. That's a highly specific ninja tool. We really need to stop with the meaty face close-ups. Balls. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me rescind that. You all right? The steering wheel gag was a classic. Where'd you learn that? Driving school. We call the cops and tell them you were the driver that forced another car off the pier. Maybe we should pass. Pretty sure there were like now 79 felonies committed by the other gamblers before we got to that They're point. They're moving out but, of Chinatown okay. into a new neighborhood. Only Charlie Patterson's a stubborn old man. And he won't pay protection. And when do you like them? So where to next? Well, our ex-hoofer doesn't understand who he's dealing with. He's going to have to be convinced. Let's go. And go they went. Right. Right. Our dear Mr. Patterson appears to have more powerful friends than I imagined. <laughs> Maybe next time they'll we'll invite the cameraman more. in. To bargain with. Like his daughter. Pick up the dancer. <laughs> and then put her back down again and bring her to me. 
Meanwhile, back at Club Truffles. Is it okay if I don't hate the progressive jazz? He sure has a way of leering at strangers, doesn't he? So what the hell are you doing, Master? Way to snooze on the job. Yet now is the time to offer a hand, my friend. I can't do this. Yes, you can. If it comes from the heart. Who's there? The hand reaching out of the darkness. Totally normal way to answer a question, Sometimes right? Sometimes we can do things for strangers. Try another step. What can you lose? Well, you can do it. Her femur. I make it five steps. Imagine the silken cord being spun. Right, I'm just going to start looking away when they do this from now on. One more step. I appreciate it if you'd take me back to my chair now. Well, Look, anyway. You did your good deed for the day. Sorry it didn't work out for either one of us. If you're uh, here to see the dancing, you're a little late. My sister Kelly's department. By far one of the most awkward exchanges I've ever seen in my life. What? Having a big sister that moves like an angel? It's a trip. I watch her every night. Gimps get uh, very vicarious. Why are you here? I came to see your father. Who are you? John Peter McAllister. And you? I'm Jill Patterson. The Gimp. I got it. Handles are dangerous things. Only once you start walking, you won't be called the gimp any longer. A couple of those steps did feel pretty good. You know, I until I fell like and I shattered my kneecap. Right in front of the other. Like I was walking, you know? You look that way to me. Jill, uh, I... Uh... Oh, Pops. There's someone here to see you. You were very good with her. She'll walk up here first. When she does that, you'll know. You seem to have taken quite an interest in my family. You can't handle that protection thing by yourself. Not against those boys. They're more than just gangsters or even the Tong sect. They're ninja. I'll explain. Where's Kelly? See, folks, ninja pluralizes as ninja. The master had sent me to protect Kelly, but I wasn't fast enough. Then again, I was sitting in my car watching when she got abducted. Excellent. 
Excellent. I see that your master has found himself a pupil. He will attempt to be a worthy adversary. His midsection takes a remarkable amount of damage. Your lessons had to end so abruptly. Four fractured ribs. Lika? It was too fast. I couldn't move. No way Truly you're gonna lamentable times at Club Truffles. This is Charlie Patterson. Mr. Patterson. I regret the measures you've forced us to take. However, I'm certain that after our initial misunderstanding, the business between us will be uh, gentlemanly. You withdraw $20,000 from the bank today. I haven't got that kind of money to withdraw. Oh, some bonds cashed in, some, some shares sold, a loan for improvements. A little austerity is good for the soul, Mr. Patterson. Speak to your daughter, who is in good health. I'm a little scared, but that's only natural. Yeah, she just saw a Pauly Shore movie. Daddy, I'm fine. Don't give him anything. Don't! Daddy! No harm will come to her. Because both you and I understand that you are going to cooperate. You are not going to call the police. Either that or I'll get the Lambda alumni the to come kick your, your ass. Club, he will leave San Francisco. You have until 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'll get the money. I know you will. We will call your office at 3 o'clock. And please, don't disappoint me, Mr. Patterson. I so hate to be disappointed. Does Jill ever look happy? Bye, sir. Kelly. We'll find her. She's got to be somewhere in Chinatown, right? Many doors will be closed. Few will hear you. Many refrigerators as well. All you'll see in their eyes is fear. Then we'll search it from one end to the other. Not by three o'clock. Can you withdraw that kind of money? I'll have to put a lien on the club, but I can do it. I don't believe what I'm hearing. I mean, we're just going to give in to them? Pay the ransom? Sell out? With me, oh yeah, sell out Smoke screen. with me tonight. Illusion. Give them what they expect and they'll believe it. What are we really doing? The unexpected. They'll and see us coming. have just filed a copyright claim. Not if we send the right person. Jill, I need your help. You're going to wheel me into the lion's den, huh? That's right. You think you can handle it? Against those creeps? Are you kidding? Well, no, just I actually close need your eyes to know. To the chair, pal. What do you want me to do? Deliver the money. And cut. Lika, alleyway between Morgan and Asheville. Count the money. If it looks like any type of trap, tell the girl. That's right, folks. The 80s was all corded phones and alleyways. Let me see the money. Where's my sister? Safe. This is supposed to be an exchange. The money for Kelly. Your sister will be returned to you. You have my word. Yes, but you are a murderous assassin, so I have to balance my consideration. If I could only get out of this chair. Be glad that you can't.
dastardly extortionists and ninjas, but they do obey parking rules. Let's hope they fall for the unexpected. Again, maybe not the best thought out plan, Mr. Master. And his head was crushed, his brain turned to jelly, and he died instantly. Apparently, the cameraman is evaporating. Guards at the front. Can't get in that way. Maybe that's the way in. But then they saw the shine off of his reflective head, and he got caught, and that was the end. Something's happened to your friend. Not to him. I didn't even see him. That doesn't mean he wasn't there. <laughs> I'm not sure the mellow groove rock is appropriate right Johnny now, Cash. guys. 20,000 is promised. You didn't disappoint me after all. When will my daughter be returned? I understand from the bank you had to take out a lien on your club. Too much of a financial strain in these hard times. You will sign the lien over to me. I will pay it. The club will then be mine, of course. Oh, but you must stay on. Your customers would be so disappointed. If that's what it'll take to bring my daughter back. Have it arranged by tomorrow morning. She'll be with you for lunch. You and your sideburns. Look, you stay here at the club and we'll both be back tonight. With Kelly. He's not doing this alone. This was a partnership. Too dangerous. Well, that little chase of the streets this morning, you don't suppose that had just a small element of danger in it? What am I, your chauffeur? I told you. Lean you silver? Ready. I'll tell you what I'm not ready for. I'm not ready to see Kelly killed. I'm not ready to see you go off into the sunset against that pack of wolves. I'm not Wait, ready to be shot Wait, who said anything at, about a pack of wolves? The and then have to go sit out the walls. But you are ready to get killed. With you around, how could you let that happen? I suppose you'd only follow me. Believe it. I believe it. You ready for your ninja robes? Uh, still working up to that. But I do have a black outfit. Ninja's as well a as a weapon. ninja thong. How about a weapon? Hold it. It'll make you feel better. Just don't throw it. I wouldn't think of it. Girl to me. And I knew no one inside the Golden Pagoda road. heard that. So does everybody inside, inside the Golden Pagoda have tinnitus? How did nobody back, hear that? Me. Hey boss, we just heard a large window breaking sound in the other part of the building. Should we worry about that? No? Alright, here's the girl.
I hear you're quite a performer. Dance for me. You're a dancer? Dance! And I hear you're also a pilot, so pilot! No more, says Terry. Oh. Hey, she's not half bad. I like the climbing the ladder move. I can't! I can't! Once again, a henchman not worth his weight in air. Good night, Mr. Chen. Little known fact, Lambda right. Lambda Lambdas yeah, are especially vulnerable to smoke bombs. There's only one way. How? A high wire between the buildings. <sighs> I couldn't. You'll have to. But I won't. You will. Max, get the money. Yes, you can. I'll help you. No, I can't. I can't do it. Take my hand. No! I'm a stranger on, in paradise. I won't let you fall. to my voice. There's nothing below you. There's nothing around you. We are one. As I step back, you step forward. That's it. That's it. And you won't fall unless I do. And I won't fall. Unless you fall. Oh wait, sorry, I got confused. Max is playing his Game Boy right now, just waiting. Almost don't look down. <laughs> Almost there. Now it was my turn. And I said the chances of tightrope walking in San Francisco were slim. With the master around, you could do it every night. Come on, Max, you can do it. Hmm, a debatable point if you Don't ask me. Down. Meaty face Almost shot, there. number 79. Master. I wanted to see if I could add your course. They are of no concern to me. They can go. Go on. If you think I'm gonna leave, get her out of here. If you think I'm going to leave, pause. Go on. Yeah, guys, quick question. Are you going to take another two and a half minutes before you fight? Because if so, I'm going to go make some tea. Again, 
can say what you will, but the actual stunt work on this show ain't bad. There's like three pages in the script of people saying ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Wait, so they have some that just do smoke, others that do poison smoke, maybe some that do fire. It must be tough keeping Where all your balls you? in order. My friend, time for you to die. Shut. So Lee Van Cleef is standing naked somewhere? Thank goodness. Ah yes, back in Ot 9 when I was already 57. We're going to show you the Charlie Patterson of the 80s. Charlie, do a little step for us. I think, I think you do. I think you think you do, do. Hey, Charlie, I've got a birthday surprise for you. Two feet now. You want to dance? You betcha. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right mood lighting for a father daughter dance, but all right. Get carried away. You're the hoofer. I'm new at this game. I've never seen so much awkward clapping in one scene. That is a hugely impressive 80s mullet. It has to be said. to my friend Terry today. She's not your daughter. So once again, they forgot to wrap that up. We'll find her.
there you have it, folks. That's the second episode. We'll be going on to the next episode where they go, as I said, I think somewhere in the American Southwest. Um, and that's ultimately the first part of the Mystery Science Theater Master Ninja 2 episode. After that, we'll be going on to Los Angeles for the fourth episode, and at that point, we'll move beyond anything that was shown on the Mystery Science episodes, which I'm particularly looking forward to. So in any case, let me know what you think of this one. I'll see you for the next episode.